I'm in Stoughton on Arrow in um, in Herefordshire and uh, I've come to buy some boots in Hereford and I needed somewhere, I needed a meadow uh, so I needed to find a river um, so I've come to Staunton and of course I need an Anglo-Saxon charter Arrest of Mila Ford on Long Erge that in Washer Ford of Washer Ford on Long Erge im Hollen Eye Uwewedr of Hollen Eye Uwewedr on the Ark Edge Uwewedr that on Long Ver Ark Edge Uwewedr that on Snadway for Wedr of Snadway im Hernlie on Ark na Bridge up on Long Brockes. Oh look, a, uh, a Herefordshire uh, apple orchard. The reason I'm so excited to see this is not just because this is the classic view you would have seen in, in old, in inverted commas, England, um, of its uh, cider and apple trees and, and meadows and haymaking and all the rest of it. It's because orchards have been disappearing from, from the West Country mostly because they're, they're just not as relevant as they used to be for the economy. But it seems that here in Hereford, it, it, in Herefordshire, it still is uh, very relevant. And I did see quite a few orchards uh, when I was up here. This, is, um, this orchard is a young, these are young trees uh, and not old ones. So it shows some life is still in the, uh, still in the apple economy. Does it look silvery to you? I'll come to why I'm asking that in a minute. It is quite a nice um, uh, charter as well. So it's not just a conceit over uh, coming to buy boots. Incidentally, they've um, they've uh, they've done pretty well. Um, I've been through a couple of muddy puddles. I'm not abusing them. This is what I do. Uh, a lot of people who buy boots like these are out in the countryside uh, with a bit of mud. I'm not overdoing it. I'm not stressing them out. I need to walk through a puddle. Am I still dry at the other side? So far, yes. I'm only going to do part of this Anglo-Saxon um, charter uh, and uh, should I uh, have to bring the boots back to uh, uh, Philip Morris, I shall... They've given a one-year guarantee, by the way. I'm in, uh, I'm in Hereford uh, looking for some boots. I, uh, I bought some Carrymore boots in April, uh, and then it was summer, and then the first puddle I went through in autumn, soaking, soaking wet. So um, I've done my research and I've, I've uh, driven 100 miles to get some decent boots. It's like a hunting establishment. The clocks have gone back, which means in about two hours time uh, I'll, uh, it'll be dark. Uh, and that's the depressing part of the winter the time. Uh, I haven't lost any daylight. All I've done is, uh, all I 
I need to do is get up an hour earlier. But uh, it tends to provide, it tends to create a panicky sensation as I'm racing across the countryside trying to get, trying to eke out two hours of video time. Um, but uh, the, yeah, it's Staunton, there's some interesting, the whole of Britain was, was Welsh. Uh, it took them 200 years to do it and um, you know, so the, the Welsh didn't just go, um, they just didn't do as they were told, it took 200 years. The Normans took 20 to subdue it and they had to kill everybody in the north to do so. But um, the, uh, so there are a lot of remnants of uh, Welsh uh, words in this area, some very nice ones in, 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 indeed. Uh, I was looking at the charter right at the beginning, it talks about the mill. Uh, and then it talks, go along uh, an air gear. And I'm going, what the hell is an air gear? Uh, and I'm flicking through Bosworth Toller, I'm uh, looking at Old English Translator, I can't work it out. I don't know what air gear is. Um, it's until, um, so this is a hint to you beginning uh, um, YouTube toponymists, is uh, try um, changing a vowel or try. Uh, changing a, a consonant. So in this case I went for air, air, yeah. And as soon as I said uh, said it out loud, air, yeah, of course it's Arrow. It's just talking about the river Arrow. Now Arrow is obviously anglicised. Um, uh, an Arrow means an arrow. Uh, but in the Anglo-Saxon period it was air, gear, which, which as far as I'm concerned doesn't mean anything. Uh, but what they were trying to do take the sounds of a Welsh word and turn it into um, and make it their own. So it is still the Welsh, um, a, a Welsh river in, in essence. Uh, and it means, uh, according to Equal, it means silver. And so the root of it is the, is the word for silver. Um, so that's why I was asking, does it look silvery to you? It does, it's sparkling beautifully now. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please watch this one next. This is only part one. Uh, part two will be coming up soon, uh, in, through which I'll go into the Dark Age situation in this area. Ta-da for now.